Hello friends, welcome to BSV Solution. My name is Lokesh Gandhi and today's session we are going to learn how to create sub-inventory in our Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management. So sub-inventory are the physical location designated to store the items and each sub-inventory is tightly connected to only one inventory. So we can also say that the sub-inventory are the unique physical separation of material inventory and material inventory such as raw material inventory, finished goods uh, inventory and, and defective material sub-inventory. These all are the sub-inventories under the inventory organization. And all the materials within an organization is held in the sub-inventory also. So we must define at least one sub-inventory under the inventory organization because if you want to perform any business transaction in, in the inventory organization, so we have to define at least one sub-inventory, right? And if you want to perform inventory related tasks, so we have to define some roles. So this is the inventory roles we have to assign to the implementation user. One is inventory manager, second one is warehouse manager and warehouse operator. So these are the inventory roles. So let's move on to the application. And first we will see how to assign the role into the uh, inventory organization. And, and later on we will see how to create sub inventory in the inventory organization in the application. So this is our application homepage. And first we will see the navigator options. So we have the product management under the product management. We have the product information management where we can create the items, right? We have the order management and we have a supply chain planning, but you can see there is no any option related to the inventory. So inventory management. So how can we enable it? So we have to give the, we have to assign the roles to this implementation user. So click on this navigator option, click on tools and uh, click on security console. Click on users, search for the users and click on Tata. And we have our roles, but we are giving some inventory related role to this user. So click on edit and click on add roles. So we have a inventory manager. So click on that inventory manager. And the second one is warehouse. Warehouse manager, click on that. Add role membership and warehouse operator. Done. Seven close. So after assigning the roles to the user, we have to assign data access for the user. So, okay. And uh, click on home page. Right, we have to assign data access for the user. So click on setting and action. Click on setup and maintenance. And now, Click on this task. Click on manage implementation project. Click on overview. So this implementation project assigned to this data user. So click on this implementation project and search task name is data access to users.
data access for users. So we have the tasks, go with any one of them. So click on this. Now again, click on manage data access for users. Click on go to task. So click on plus sign over here. And the user, the name is Tata. Search for that and role. We have to assign this inventory role to this user and the security context in inventory organization. And this is the security context value. So search for Tata. This is nothing but a inventory organization, right? This inventory organization we have already created in our previous session. Now again, you can duplicate this data. Next one is we are out manager, inventory organization. This is our inventory organization. And again, last one is warehouse operator. Warehouse operator, right? Now select our inventory organization. Click on save and close. So in that way, you can assign the data access for this user. Now we have to perform LDAP job for synchronize all the roles to this user, right? So under the tools, click on schedule process. Click on new schedule process. Write LDAP and click enter. So it is searching for the LDAP job process. Now select the first one is retrieve lattice LDAP changes, select first one and click on OK. Again, click OK. Now the submit this process. 9139, OK. Click on refresh button. 9139, the process ID number, the status change to running again click on refresh button again and again process id 9139 the status is still in running so let's sign out and sign in again So I hope the process gets completed. Now click on Navigator. And you can see over here, the option, the supply chain execution gets enabled. Click on that and the inventory management option gets enabled over here. Right. So let's create some inventory in our organization. So click on Setting an action, click on setup and maintenance. 
click on this task. Click on manage implementation project. Click on overview. And again, the implementation project. And if you want to create the sub inventory in the organization, we have to ensure that we have one offering over here, the material management and logistics. This is added in this implementation project. So first we ensure that, right? Now let's search the task name is manage sub inventories. So, so task name is manage sub inventories and locators. Click on that and click on this manage sub inventory locator go to task. So we have to select organization in which organization you are creating the sub inventory. So click on that and search for the organization name. Search it. So this is our organization, inventory organization. So select it. Under this inventory organization, we are going to create the sub inventory, right? You can see the inventory organization is Tata. Now, click on this create icon over here. So, so many fields over here, but we are going to insert some mandatory fields and rest of the fields we will see in our upcoming session related to locators, locator structures, and uh, we have the inventory groups processing, we'll see in the upcoming sessions, right? So first we insert the name of this inventory. So I'm going to insert, the name is Tata. Tata sub INV. underscore sub INV it's not so let's select uh, sub INV one right it's their place no it's not it's, let's insert the description. Tata. Some inventory. One. Is one. Right. And we have the end date. We have the material status over here. You can see. You can see the material status over here the reject recall raw material and we have different different you can search over here right now we will go with the active this sub inventory the material status is active we have the sub inventory type the receiving or storage right we can select as per your requirement and locators we will cover in next session and uh, click on save and close. So, okay, you can see over here, the sub inventory gets created. You can see, you can edit, want to edit, you can click on this edit option over here. And now how can we check the sub inventory created in under this inventory organization? So done. Done and click on this navigator and go to the supply chain execution. Under this supply chain execution, click on inventory management. So again, click on task.
manage item quantities. And uh, we have to search it over here for this organization. Right now we don't have any items. So when we create item under this inventory, it's reflected over here, right? So done. Whenever we item created in the under this sub inventory, let's turn it. So this is how you can create sub inventory in the inventory organization in Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.